Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for joining me today for my fragrance review extravaganza. Today, I have a goal, a mission to make a few videos today while I kind of review these over the past week or so, getting it ready in my mind. Um, what I've been doing is kind of combing through my Dua collection and what I subconsciously or unconsciously do. I kind of put aside my favorites and I don't go over those. <sighs> I'm really putting myself out there. Can I get a thumbs up for being vulnerable right now? I admit to hiding my favorites and I've had these for years. And the whole point of Fragcom is to find what you like, share what you like and why, have a good friendly debate and discover new things. So I'm doing Fragcom a disservice by doing reviews about things that I am not, I like, but I'm truly more passionate about these at this moment. Okay, I'm not shortchanging anyone. Um, so I've made a few connections between a few bottles here, which I thought would be really interesting instead of going over one by one. Today's video will be about fruit duas that I find really go well together, but yet they're different. Uh, before we go over those, I'm going to um, make a few videos in succession today and I'm going to give a little fun fact about myself <laughs> in each video and some of you guys are like no just get to the fragrances well there's always a fast forward button okay but today's fun tidbit is my scent of the day SOTD Prada Luna Rosa oops sorry I like to leave this little cardboard tube on this little toilet paper tube I love the bottle design, but let's go over the scent really quick and why I chose this to be my scent of the day. I bought this twice. I gotta be careful not to make this a full on review. But the first time I sold it because I thought maybe it was too redundant or safe. I had other clean fragrances and I was really into musky type fragrances at that time. And I bought this again a while ago and I haven't used it all that much, but every time I wear it, I get a little lavender and it smells clean without being shower fresh clean. This is not a blue scent. This is not uh, an Axe body spray. This is something that's calm, but makes a statement while still being very clean without being a bar of soap or like Neroli or something like that. I love this scent. It's original, it's different and you smell different from other people. I smell different from other things in my collection as well. So if you want to smell different than how you usually smell while still having this sophisticated yet casual calm scent about you, this is a winner in my book. And it lasts a really long time, surprisingly. I sprayed this on in the morning, drove around, came back home, through the night I've smelled it because I sprayed it strategically and not too much where I went nose blind to it. I definitely smell that on myself and other people will too. Let's go on to the main event. <laughs> All right, let's go through these five fragrances of Dua that I feel go well together that I truly love. Kosai Colada, Citrange Verbena, Fortunella Dream, The Yuzu scent. This has the new cap and goldish sprayer, which has been improved. It, that is the improved version. Mango Mojito, which is a Dua original, I believe. We'll go over these right now. And I'll make more videos after this. Costa Colada. Let's go over this really quickly. What's in it? It is a melange of fruits. Who could hate this? It's so good. It's aromatic, fruity, yuzu, black currant, pineapple flesh. Oh, I love how they describe that. Neroli mint. Okay. Lime mojito accord. Huh. So there's a mojito here, but there's mojito accord in Costa Colada as well. Makes sense. Cypress, birch, white musk, rosemary. It's got some herbalness to it, but I did not get that too much from here. I just enjoyed the fruits too much. Perhaps I ignore it. It is definitely unisex, as it says it here. This goes for 60 bucks on Dua's website. However, there is a sale, possibly every weekend, that ranges from 25 to 30% off. So when those sales hit, 
um, get a few at a time. That's what I do. And I try them and I review them for you. Kosai Colada, the reason why I've held this to myself is because it's fruity without being juvenile. In fact, I can say that for all of these. Fruity and citrusy, I can describe these fragrances. This is definitely on the fruity side of things. So with Aventus, the popularity of pineapple shot through the roof. But what are some interesting ways to wear pineapple without just dousing Demeter pineapple, that nectar type smell, or Parfums Vintage, um, their pineapple gold scent, which is pretty straight up pineapple and woods, but more pineapple sharp than anything else. Um, I believe making a drink out of it, like Dua has, is a very innovative way. That way you get that fruity pineapple, but it's not just pineapple. It's not so linear, which just becomes a soft, musky pineapple, which they also have, by the way, musky pineapple by Dua. Now, that and this are not quite the same, but they are similar because they're fruity and pineapple-y. But this one has a little bit of roundness to it. There's uh, rosemary, which I've noticed in here, which is a great touch. You may not realize it, but having some greenness and herbaceousness in these fragrances really makes things a little bit more complex, where you may not realize it, but when you smell something more straightforward and juvenile, that's where the difference is. The complexities make things interesting. It dries down differently for everybody. So Kosai Colada, I recommend. If you like fruity pineapple and want something more tropical and not as linear as just pineapple. Okay, that was a good review. <laughs> if I don't mind saying so myself. I try to make this more fun, guys, because when I edit my own videos, I tend to want to fall asleep. Anyway, Citrange Verbena. Let's go on to this one. Uh, quickly, this is a citrus aromatic. Uh -huh. I did not do this on purpose. They're all fruity to me. We have Verbena, Lemon, Bergamot, Black Pepper, Wormwood. You know what? If there's Wormwood in a fragrance, I want to buy it. It just sounds awesome. Cardamom. I don't get much cardamom here. Oak Moss and Green Mandarin. Yes, these notes here... I'm sure there's more, but the notes are listed here, work well together. And I know that because when I smell this and I spray it, it just smells like a nice, citrus, sophisticated fragrance. And by sophisticated, I don't mean dated. I don't mean old man or old woman. This is not a, like an old, rosy, foggy fragrance. This is not like that. This is like, I could dress this up, man. I could wear this with a suit and you would be sharp and you would not necessarily turn heads. It's not that kind of fragrance where it's burning people's noses off. You just smell like you know what you're doing. A confident person would wear this. A casual person would wear Citrunch Verbena. It's just such a nice fragrance. Um, there is some moss in here, it seems. Oak moss. So this is inspired by Citric by Santa Eulalia. Never heard this, but I would imagine that fragrance is very expensive. And this goes currently for $55 as opposed to $60 of Kosai Colada. Again, get this on sale, uh, Citrange Verbena, if you can. Uh, it's pretty cool that you can get this for 30% off and have something that lasts longer. It's more potent than the original Citric by Santa Eulalia. Is it exactly the same? It's hard for me to say. I've never tried the original but I wouldn't want the original because this lasts longer and it's potent and it matches my collection. So why would I go differently? I just trust Dua's nose and while it may not be 100% the same, I would hope that they um, manipulate some of the notes to be a more higher concentration than others to make it as mass appealing for people like me as possible while still having that artistic integrity. Okay, let's move on to Fortunella Dream. Again, I'm presenting all these because I like them all. I'm not going to go through them and say, I like this one too. It's an 8 out of 10. These are all 10 out of 10 fruit fragrances, citric fragrances. I love them all, and I've been hiding them from you. <laughs> so they're all good, okay? That's why I'm presenting them to you today. Fortunella Dream. Oh, man, this is so good. It is inspired by Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee de by Hermes. Um... All right, there's a funny story about that, which I'll tell you another time. Okay, citrus aromatic. We have green sap, jasmine, mint, and kumquat. And I think I've had a kumquat before. They're very tart and delicious. 
And uh, so whenever I spray this one on, uh, I think of oranges rather than kumquat. But that's the fun part of fragrances, right? Like, oh, it's, the, the amateur would be like, oh, it's orange, it's lemon. Um, no, it's bergamot, it's kumquat, it's, um, it's sap, it's, it's green, it's the colors of the rainbow in this little thing here. And I love that about duo fragrances. I love about, about fragrances in general. It's like making me drool here how delicious this one is. This goes for 33 bucks. Oh, was this on sale possibly? And it just sold out. Yeah, unfortunately this one sold out. It is out of stock, but I have no doubt this will come back. So just keep an eye out for it. It's just too good to hide from the public. So I'm sorry I've been doing that. Um, the mint in here is not strong, but I get a little bit of difference between this one and Citrunge Verbena. They're both kind of orangey and a little bit green. Um, they both can be sophisticated, but very... Um, casual as well this is every these are a sense every day anytime lasts forever on your skin because they're extra temper from oil concentration and i just love these so much um i think that they say here is only for the summer but i wear this all year round um and it's for anybody so highly recommend fortune of a dream if you like citrus orangey flavors that um, that can be going for any time of year with anything that you're wearing. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, we have here the Yuzu scent. Now this one didn't necessarily get a lot of hype, but a lot of people do agree this smells really nice. This is one of their more recent um, releases. Uh, you can tell by the cap, which is like a wooden stump here, and a gold sprayer, which I believe the atomizer is improved in spray. Although I never had an issue with their other atomizers. But it's good to know a company is always improving and changing things up. So the Yuzu scent uh, is based on Yuzu, of course. Let's see if I have it here. So we have bergamot, Yuzu, Yuzu musk, Accord. We have pink pepper, yes, I do get some of that. Sandalwood, which is very common to pair with uh, notes like this. We have violet leaf, which can be very temperamental. All this stuff depends on how they're used. Now, when I smell this one, you may think you just get isimiyaki or something that's very citrusy or bergamotty. Um, I don't get that in a sense that I've smelled this before. This is very clean, it's not masculine, but it's very um, kind of like sophisticated in a way. And my definition of sophistication is different from other people's. So you ask a guy, um, what's your idea of sophistication? He might say jazz club, he might say other designers that have like tobacco and oud. This is not like that. If you think that's sophisticated, this is child's play for you. In fact, any of these in my collection are. This is where my tastes lie. So yuzu scent, I like this one because it's yuzu and it lasts a long time. It's in heavy oil concentration. And sprayed in your hair or anyone in this area, it lasts uh, for a very long time and is sure to bring a smile to your face. It's bright, a little peppery, but not like just nauseatingly sweet. Not at all. This is not like a sweet scent. This is a very realistic scent. That's what it is. Like these other ones are kind of sweet and citrusy, right? and realistic in their own right. But this one, I feel like yuzu, it doesn't, it's kind of bitter, right? It's it's not like a sweet, pulpy orange. This is not like that. So if you're looking for something that fills your collection in this way, that is more bitter, not grown up, but just like more realistic, this is a great start for you with yuzu. You see miyaki, that smells like dust. Like that's old, don't get that, okay? There, that's my PSA for today. Okay, the last one. This video is running a little long. <laughs> Mango Mojito. You have to pronounce it with a ha ha la la la. Okay. A Dua Original Blend. Man, they are killing it with these scents when it comes to drinks. I remember, I think this is during the summertime, a lot of these came out like that. This is going for 60 bucks. Again, look out for the sales. This is considered a gourmand fragrance, not a fruity fragrance. Interesting. This, what's in here, we have juicy mango, mango syrup, 
sugar cane syrup, very sweet, mint. Mint is always a fun uh, note to put in things I've noticed because I think secretly we don't want things to be over the top. Mint adds a little piercing, refreshing note, especially if it's a drink, huh? Club soda for the effervescence. White rum, did not get that. White musk. Uh, musk is a great way or sandalwood to kind of like put a bottom to things and fill things out without going too woodsy in a, in a, in a you know, territory that's been done before a million times. This goes for 60 bucks if I didn't say so already. Very interesting. So a summer fragrance. Um, of course, I'm going to say it's unisex. Definitely, these are all unisex any time of the year. And this is a very strong fragrance for what it is. If you get designer scent of this, um, perhaps made by, um, I don't know, if Paco Rabanne made something like this, it'd probably be very strong, but very alcoholic. But Duo has made this where it's not going to pierce the nose, but it's well-rounded, well-mixed, and very potent in a way where it lasts a long time, especially for a fruity, light fragrance like this. And by light, I mean seemingly light. It's very thick in terms of like how it lasts because it's an oil, and it's a very nice one. Uh, I must say I like the presentation on this, and I recommend Mango Mojito 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a mango fragrance, which Dua has a lot of, um, they have straight up mango fragrances in Dua. People love their mango in the Dua community, which you can join on the Facebook group by looking up Dua fragrances and discuss what recommendations you want to get from other people. Um, there's lots of mango fragrances, but this one, if you wanted a mango with not watered down, but more complex mango, which does not smell like a piece of candy, they say it's a gourmand. Yes, you want to eat it or drink it, but this is not that completely. It's just a nice fragrant scent that seems somewhat familiar because it's sweet and fruity, but you know, it's a bit more complex than that. So it's not just mango flesh in a blender and just slathering it on yourself. It's not quite that thick or heavy. This is lighter, breezier, complex, with a little bit of mint in there. You can't ask for a better mango fragrance than this one. So let's go over them really quickly. Again, we have Kosai Colada, 10 out of 10 fruit fragrance. We have here Citronge Verbena, a nice, it can be upscale, but casual fragrance, uh, depending on how you dress. Same goes for Fortunella Dream, great inspirations for a fraction of the cost for very high quality. 10 out of 10. Being very generous with my hands and ratings today. Yuzu scent. A natural peppery yuzu scent. And by that peppery, I mean minimal. If I like it, anyone's going to like it. Let's keep going. Last one. Mango mojito. Fruity mango without being too thick and overly sweet. This is a beverage that you can wear that anyone would like and it's not overpowering and yet lasts a long time. I hope this helps you guys um, kind of get some fruit fragrances under your belt and uh, I have some signature scents coming up and some true gourmands coming up after that. Okay, thank you so much for watching this very long video. I hope it helps you. See you next time. Bye-bye.